see those fortresses miles up in the skies above almost every theatre of war. You hear of their large-scale daylight attacks and you read of the numbers of enemy fighters they shoot down. The following film shows them in action and illustrates their tremendous gun power. Top turret guns, nose guns, each firing approximately 650 rounds a minute. The ball turret underneath the fuselage. One of the waist guns and the tail. Despite all those guns and the normal crew of ten, the fortresses are big enough to carry also a huge weight of bombs. Exact figures are not for publication, but this is the kind of thing that has been falling on places like Kiel and Wilhelmshaven and Hamburg. They are making ever deeper penetration into Hitler's Reich. As for manpower, it is no uncommon thing for more than a thousand American airmen to be flying over enemy territory in one operation, sometimes two thousand, sometimes even more. In the series of flights that follow, you will see those guns in action against German fighters and the bombs crashing down on such places as Saint-Nazaire and Kiel and Antwerp. Much of the action material was taken on 16 millimeter film and enlarged. We, we hope you will forgive some poor quality film because of its high quality action value. Running over Antwerp, heavy flak starts coming up. As the bombs go, an attack by Messerschmitts develops. A terrific battle. 250 fortresses can fire over 2 million rounds a minute. have found their target and turned for home. And now another day's action commences with a raid on San Nazaire, the famous U-boat base. Fighter opposition here is strong. The fortresses have tough going. Another terrific sky battle rages. Parachutes reveal that from this lost bomber, some of the crew at least are safe. Now tiny ships with their wake below hear the Russian thunder of bombs tearing towards them, and the target area gets a blastering. After another successful mission, the United States Army 8th Air Force turns back for home. They have delivered one more shattering attack on Germany's power to wage war. Great ragged holes in wings and fuselage tell the story again. A story of determination that took them to the target and bombed it and brought them back. Germany reels beneath the non-stop shocks. We'll not pretend they're beaten yet, but at least they're losing this war the hard way to a great ally helping to teach that lesson, happy landing. <laughs> <laughs>